Okay. I think I'm getting over the COVID thing a little bit more. Um, I know you, you probably been like, oh, it's been like a week, dude. I, it's, it's, I, I record all these videos like pretty close to each other. So this is all, this has all been within the same couple of days. And I'm going to record a couple of more videos after this one. So like, if I, if I still seem sick, like a month later, don't worry. I just record all these videos like consecutively. Um, uh, Chucky, that's where we're watching today. Chucky. Okay. Uh, duh. Okay, so where did we leave off? At a, at, a, at, a, at a fascinating point. A point where I truly do not know where the writers are even thinking about going next. Um, Chucky died, as he is one to do, as per usual. But this time, he fucking dusted like Thanos. Like, he, he it was... He's dust. He's gone. Gone. But... As it was building up the entire season, and as I kept bringing up, it would be crazy if the White House was haunted. Turns out, the White House was haunted, so Chucky died in the White House. And for some reason, uh, I was expecting his uh, ghost to be the doll. I don't know why, that's dumb of me. I forgot that he's a human being, technically. Um, but now, here's the crazy part. Brad Dourif is back as Ch as Charles Lee Ray. Brad Dourif is back. I have not seen this man since fucking Curse of Chucky, I think. Brad Dourif is back as Charles Lee Ray. I am fascinated as where the, where this is going. Because we have a ghost Brad Dourif in the White House. A fake Devin Sawa. I don't know where that girl's sister is still. I don't know what Mika's doing. Jennifer Tilly's getting the electric chair. She's doing voodoo on the entire prison. What happened to Glenn and Glenda? There's a lot of questions. And uh, we're going to get into them. Enough rambling. If you want to see the full uncut reaction to this episode, all the episodes from the past seasons of Chucky, all the uh, Chucky reactions that I've done of the movies, the film series, and uh, uh, all, the, all the movies that I've done on this channel, for the most part, patreon.com slash BS movies where you can be just like my chuckle fucks Hannah, Nick, Kev, Battle Sister Cat, George, Ken, and Greg and uh, yeah there's there's a lot and uh, it's July so I'm already recording the fucking research videos and audios of the Goosebumps episodes for this year so it's there's a lot and I'm overwhelmed, and I have COVID, and I'm working two jobs for the time being. It's a lot. I don't have a lot of time. I'm going to use the free time that I have, though, to enjoy a nice, fun episode of Chucky and the Gang with you folks. So without further ado, let's do that. Here we go. Chucky. We're only at two episodes left. How is this going to resolve in two hours? I doubt it will. I doubt it will. Cliffhanger, probably. Let's find out. Are they going to get interrogated by the Secret Service? I'm assuming they're all going to get interrogated by the Secret Service. I mean, who wouldn't get interrogated by the Secret Service after a living doll that you guys have been tracking down just uh, killed the president? Oh my god, it's Brad Duro! Look at him! Look at our guy! That's our guy! I love that he's like... Didn't he say he's retired from acting? Is that the ghost of Abraham Lincoln? Is that Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> We're like 30 seconds into the episode, guys. I love that Brad Durf said he's like retired from acting, but they're like, hey, you want to do Chucky again? And he's like, hell yeah, I want to do Chucky again. It's the only thing he'll come back for, I guess. Is that Mary Todd? This feels like an this feels like Beetlejuice. Oh, you're the guy that killed me. Oh, Mr. Ray. Go right in. He'll see you now. He who? The president? The president of the Oh god, the guy whose head he blew off. Is that Nixon? There's a lot going on here. There's a lot of dead presidents to get through here. Oh my god, he still got it. Oh! I'm Dambala. And you are? It's Dambala! I'm Charles Lee Ray. That's Dambala? Dambala is Chucky? I love little glasses, Chucky. My favorite version of Homer Simpson is where he's got those little glasses on and he's like, You know that. Fuck you! <gasps> no. This Fuck shot you, rolls. Straight to fucking hell. Oh my god, he said to give it to hell. 
Up, 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 up. He's in the trap door. What is this, The Simpsons? He's in Mr. Burns' office. That's that's Chucky right there. Oh my God, it's Brad Dourif doing the laugh. Oh my God, I love this. And Brad Dourif. <laughs> Story here at the White Sir, House, you are not on the front of the White House. Ma'am, you are not in front of the White House either. None of you are in front of that building. We've dealt with several power outages over the past few months. So oh, great, Dr. Phil is still here. So your days are numbered. There's only two episodes left, and your days are numbered. Today, most staffers are so are yours, because you have died every fucking character you've been as well. You're you're just Devin Sawa too. And the internet is officially speculating that the president is gravely ill. We're good. Tonight we'll make the announcement. And okay, why are we all so giddy? We president. just confirmed that there's a supernatural entity in the White House. Do all first ladies have to have that haircut? By the way, is that like a thing? Do all the first ladies get that fucking Nancy Reagan ass haircut? Is he okay? No! Shock. <laughs> his doll aged and deteriorated in front of him and killed his fucking dad. Your father from Hey kid, what are you looking at? Are you looking at a ghost? What do you mean protect? Can you see ghosts? Is this a sense of yours that about the murder? Yeah, that's a sixth sense. Ghosts. Crazy shit has happened, but you still should have told me about that. <laughs> Brad, don't be an asshole. Stop freaking the kid out. You're such an asshole, Brad. Oh, he's drooling and everything. <laughs> he's such an asshole. I mean, hey, if I was working at that prison, you wouldn't have to voodoo me for all this. I'll tell you that much. Ow! 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 Eli, you're hurting me! Sorry, Miss Tilly. But is it obvious that I would be- Look, I'd do it for free. Where did this Stranger Things music come from? What's happening? Ma'am, that is not a very inconspicuous car, by the way. If you're gonna follow a sniper home, maybe in a less conspicuous car. That is that sticks out like a fucking highlighter in a fucking pencil case full of pens. That's it, what am I from Texas? What kind of saying is that? You're just gonna stand in front of his lawn? What? Nobody looks both ways when they cross the street in horror movies. That's just that was a pretty that was a pretty nice shot though. The leaves. Fuck it. Beautiful. Bastard. That's a mummy reference, by the way. You look like you look like Pee Wee Herman. I wish R.I.P. to the legend, but I wish Paul Rubens was on this show. He would have fucking fit in so well. Pee Wee Herman? On Chucky? Who would he play? I don't know. Like another Lee Ray? I don't know. Grant. Let's get the fuck out of here! The White House is on. That that would be me. Getting you out of here. Constantly Grant, screaming. Not, not when there's a chance to find out about Caroline. Ma'am, ma'am, you gotta accept that that kid ain't around. Why? Hypothetically. Did you make contact? No. Um, oh my god. If he could make contact with like seven different Devin Sawas, that would be great. Purgatory. And here we go. That's a Goosebumps cover if I ever saw one. And cut. Oh god, just let me do it one more time. Oh, Please. No, you don't you don't want to ruin perfection. No, I just I feel like such an actor. Well He's such an actor. Man. They're really gonna kill him, aren't they? They're literally gonna kill him. They're gonna actually kill you, guy. They're genuinely gonna cure. They're gonna murder you. Well, fuck you all, then. Run, Sawa, run! Get out of there, Sawa! Tuck and roll! One, Devin Sawa, one dead Sawa is enough for the season, alright? We can't have two dead Sawas. Get out of there, Sawa! Slide down the railing. Do a cool trick or something. I don't know. Come on, we can't kill two Devin Sawas. Yeah, Devin Sawa, protect yourself! Protect your neck, Sawa! Where'd that come from? Oh, the ghosts are gonna attack you now. Buddy, the ghosts are fighting back. They're so... That's such a cool concept, though. Like, so much... It's the Shining Elevator. How did I not see that coming? Better. He was good. There's no such thing as you good Chucky. Oh my god. This is a series of unfortunate events in Chucky's Count Olaf. Good? That's pathological. Oh. 
Anyway, this is crazy. This is a lot of blood. Oh, come on! Come on, guys. What a fun shot. Damn it! Hey, but we have a deadly needle. Chekhov's syringe. All right, two dead Devon Sawas in a season. I guess it's too much. All right, now, now that's enough dead house. Devon Sawas. Charles? Charles Lee Ray. Charles, are you here? Come on, Chucky. Wow, a Chucky seance. We did a Chucky exorcism. Now we're doing a Chucky seance. I don't know where we go from here, but I'm excited to find out next season. Oh, for God's God sakes, sakes, let's, let's just, just talk, talk normal. normal. Testing. One, two, three. This is awesome. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Fucking fuck. Yeah, that's Who's Chucky. Oh, oh. Ma'am. Oh, Mr. President. Oh, lady behind him. Bye. Is that the end? Oh. Uh-huh. Buddy, what contingencies do you have for this at this point? I wouldn't mind a whole season of this just Brad Dourif as Chucky without the doll. Because he's that doll, he's that good. By surprise on his own turf in the spirit realm. Oh, we gotta fucking get spirit realm. We gotta do flatliners? We gotta flatline. Flatliners. Flatliners. What did I tell you? Yeah, yeah, uh, Jake is right. It has to be the one with the strongest connection. Buddy, me. buddy, it didn't go well for the Flatliners. It didn't go well for the Flatliners. Does anyone want to say anything? I do. Oh shit, Nika's there! Oh shit. I forgot she was going to be there for this. Tiffany, I know the truth about you. And I know you are going to burn in hell. Oh shit. Look. Look at that craziness in her eyes. That's Brad Dourif right there. That's Fiona Dourif. But... Boy, there's just a lot going on here that is 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 absolutely wacky. It's absolutely fascinating. I I would love to be in the writers' room for this uh, show because it feels like it's just like nothing's off limits. Let's go wherever you want to go, as long as it's fun, and uh, it's fun to watch so i love i love getting to see ghost brad Dourif interact with with chucky the doll that's really that's i like that a lot i don't think we've ever seen that before so that's that's really cool i hope we get to see brad Dourif interact with jennifer tilly i i don't think we've ever seen that before either um I want to see them, you know, as a couple. I think we've seen we we have seen young Charles Lee Ray, but I think that was Fiona Dourif, obviously, in, in the makeup. But I want to see like current Brad Dourif and current Jennifer Tilly interact. That would be very nice. I'd like to see that. Um. And 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 yeah, I have no fucking idea where this goes because somebody's gonna die next episode. All right, and the body, like the 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 characters that are still left, are kind of important. Here's the thing. Here's the problem with me. And this is, might just be me. I could give a shit about where that girl's sister is at this point. I could, I know, and I know that's the driving force behind everything is that she wants her sister back. I could give a shit. But that's the thing that we need in order to keep the fucking plot moving along. That's my only beef with this season so far. Um,. Man, what a what a what a blood elevator from The Shining. That's great, and 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 you got, uh, just Abraham Lincoln's ghost. There's just that that episode started off on such a fucking wild note, and I I don't know where to go from here. Um, someone, I'm I I got a feeling it's it's gonna do that thing where like you know, where he said like if you stay dead any longer or something. And you got to get back into your body. I have a feeling the wrong soul is going to get back into Jake's body. And then we're in, we're in real trouble there in that case. That's a big that's a big problem. That's a big problem. But then again, Jennifer Tilly's soul is going to be there in the afterlife as well. We got a lot of people in the afterlife. It's, it's turning into Beetlejuice. But uh, in a good way. So 
that was the episode next episode is the finale i'm very excited as to where this is gonna go where th- where this ends how this wraps up at least you know in terms of this season i don't know how it's gonna cliffhang but you know always gotta leave something open for next season how are we gonna keep chucky in the equation now that he's fucking gone i don't know but yeah, that's all. If you want to see the full uncut reaction, like I said, patreon.com slash bsmovies. Only a dollar a month. Only one dollar a month. And you can get so many reactions. All at once. Everything. All at once. Anyway. Um, now I'm going to take a break. Take some more medicine. And uh, after that, when I get back, I think it's time to watch the the the, uh, the Terrifiers. And, and, and I got that to look forward to. Uh, and then I, I saw that In a Violent Nature is, is uh, available to rent and stuff. So maybe, maybe. We'll see if I'm in the mood. That's all. It's a very, it's it, from, what, from what I see, it's a very quiet movie. So I don't know. I might fall asleep. I'll, maybe I'll wait till I'm better to see that one. But The Terrifiers, here we go, guys. I got to get, I got to get these videos out fast because i'm kind of behind schedule and i don't have a lot of time anyway see you guys next week and in the meantime in the meantime if you die and try to flatliners your way out of a situation if you try to if you ever don't don't do a flatliners okay it didn't go well for them it didn't go well and if you try to escape death that's even worse ask devin sawa just don't play with death that's the lesson you learn in every horror movie is to the the one character you never fuck with in every horror movie is death so they're fucking with death this cannot end well see you guys next week